Well, good morning, Pipers. Welcome back to the Base Piper channel. Guys, I finally got it going on today. I'm going to be showing you the vanilla blends on the tobacco series. If I can keep this fresh tobacco I just got in about two weeks ago going. Well, let's get housekeeping out the way first. This is my Nira. Nira from Denmark. And I, this is one of my pipes that, uh, that's a beautiful stem. One of the pipes that I dedicate to the uh, vanilla blends. Get a pretty. Pretty bowl there. But. Um, as I said in the last video, got some tobacco in my mouth. <laughs> Running behind on my series as always. Life just gets in the way, as I said. But uh, I think I gave you the update about my wife's sister being in the hospital. She's back home now. I don't know if I told you that or not. If I did, pardon me for it. But uh, she's doing good, doing better, a lot better. And I know I'll eventually have to put this down, I'm trying to talk and keep this lit. But I'm going to tell you what's in it in just a minute. I'm going to save that to the end. But before we get into the vanilla blends, I was going to try doing this last Friday. <clears throat> and then I was going to try doing it Monday. <laughs> but uh, we finally got our windows in the house. So the house is totally done new doors, new windows, everything done. They came in Friday, last Friday, to um, start on the windows, and then they come back Monday to finish it. Uh, they had about three windows left, and they had to do all the trim work. So, um, and put the shutters and stuff on the outside. So all that dilemma, is done so um now i'm able to go ahead and uh start the uh video i've been trying to do for two weeks two and a half weeks and wouldn't you know it today this morning about let's see it's about 10 minutes after nine here in virginia so about two hours ago, maybe an hour and a half ago, the internet wants to act up due to the hurricane. And uh, we're looking at getting some rain, heavy rain here in, in the Smithfield area, Tidewater area, around one o'clock, two o'clock. But something now has happened with the internet. I was watching YouTube, everything went out on the TV. My, uh, my pods for my Wi-Fi all turned red. Now they're back to green. But some things will pull up, but it's real slow, and you got the little wheel that eternally spins. And so, um, thankfully, I'm able to make this video. Now, I don't know when I'll be able to get it loaded up on YouTube. We'll have to see when we can get all that back. But at least I can get it made and get it produced, so to speak, and put it all together for the iMovie and then get it out to you, hopefully, by this evening. Um, it all depends on how this mess goes and the weather is affecting everything. But, uh,
But um, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of my uh, blends. I got about 11 vanilla blends. So this might be a little longer than normal, guys. Um, the first one I want to start out with gives you kind of a honey vanilla blend. This one here, most everybody starts out on this blend. Guess what it is? Lane one Q. <laughs> I got a whole pound of this stuff. Two thousand seventeen. Some of these things I've been uh, been warehousing, aging, put in my cellar, so to speak. But the Lane One Q, you can't go wrong with Lane One Q. I mean, it's just you know. Um, the Lane One Q uh, basically uh, is a keepsake for a vanilla blend. Uh, it's a mild blend. Most tobacconists, even though they call it different names in their own tobacco store, will um, usually start a beginner off with Lane One Q. Another one that I've got, uh, several videos back when I wore my overalls and I had my, my Rocky Patel pipe uh, in the garage, I told you that Rocky Patel makes a, um, or they had made a, a Rocky Patel blend. Now, of course, Rocky Patel is a big cigar guru out there in the cigar world, you know. He's a big cigar maker. Got probably 20 to 25 different cigars out there. And I told you Eric Norton uh, made, some, uh, made some pipes for him or they dedicated it to Rocky Patel, his freehand. But it came out, they came out also with a tobacco. And basically, it was this canister on it. Came in a canister. And this is called the Prohibition. The Prohibition. Sweet. I think it's either sweet and simple or simple and something. Whatever. But it's Rocky Patel's Prohibition. And uh, vanilla blend in here. Now, some of these tobaccos are straight vanillas. Some of them have some vanilla blends mixed in or gives you overtones of vanilla. Uh, vanilla casings, that type of thing. But a very good, very good blend uh, if you can get your hands on any more of that. Here's one. If you are a Sutliff fan, uh, this one's called Vanilla Custard. Vanilla Custard by Sutliff. I got this in 21. Order me a thing of it. Uh, most of these vanilla blends, guys, I really don't have anything bad to say about them because they're basically... Your vanilla blends are basically a neutral thing. I mean, if you don't like vanilla, just go ahead and walk away and hang it up. for a aromatic. And I'm gonna put this pipe down for now. But uh, another one that I've got is, now this one is by Lane Limited. It's the RLP6. The RLP6. Got this in 18. Been selling the, the, the most of these are being sellers. That's why they're full. <laughs> but um, the L RLP6, if I'm not mistaken now, I didn't go check my notes, but the RLP6 is the same thing as the 
Captain Black, I believe. Because the Lane 1 Q is the same as the Captain Black Royal. Okay? Lane 1 Q, Captain Black Royal. Um, RLP6 uh, by Lane Limited um, is the Captain Black. Um, I hope I don't have them. I hope I don't have them backwards, but they're either one or the other. Captain Black. The difference is, is your, your Lane 1 Q and your RLP 6, um, is going to be, it doesn't have the, um, the preservant in it for store-bought like the Captain Black was the Captain Black original, I should have said. Captain Black Original and the Captain Black Royal. They got the Captain Black Gold or whatever. But most of those were designed to be in the stores. You used to sell them in the stores. You could buy them in the canisters. They put the preservative in it. I forgot what it says. Pro, Proca something other lean or whatever it is they put in that to preserve the um, to preserve the tobaccos a lot longer on the shelf. Where your Lane 1Q and your RLP6s are going to be more of your pure tobaccos. Um, I want to say pure tobaccos. They're going to be more of your more higher grade tobaccos and you don't have the uh, preservative in it uh, for store use uh, when they're sitting on the shelf forever in a day and collecting dust when somebody buys them. But the RLP6, fantastic, uh, fantastic blend. And that leads me right over to what I just talked about, the Captain Black original a lot of guys have started out on this too guys um captain black seems to be a um in fact i got this one in 2018 uh of the captain black and um there's another one that's a keepsake so to speak the captain black the rlp6 from lane limited the lane 1q all of those are basically beginner go-to blends to get started. Not that you go, can't start on an English blend or start on anything else, but a lot of guys, when you go to the tobacconist stores, they will, they will, uh, the guy, the tobacconist will start you out a lot of times on that. One, it makes a great room note. Can't beat vanilla. Uh, usually a milder blend, mellow, milder blend. Not a lot of nicotine, just very, very, very low and uh, just to kind of get you going in it and get has a good smell to it good good room note um another one that uh, you'll come across by mcbarron is just simply called vanilla cream vanilla cream and this is the loose cut got this one in 2018 may of 2018 and of course this is being cellared too but, um, like I said, very good taste, very good. Uh, all these have great room notes, you know. Um, here's one by Peter Stokeby. Sweet Vanilla, 2018. Sweet Vanilla. In fact, there's just a little bit in that, even though I'm, I'm selling it right now. But I got this at the pipe show in Richmond where they were, you could pay a dollar and get a sample, like a two ounce sample or whatever, or a one ounce sample, whatever it is. That's the sample in that. And uh, the thing I found out though about Peter Stokeby blends, I don't know if the rest of you all have or not, but um, uh, Peter Stokeby blends seem to be a lot lighter. If you get an aromatic like a cherry or whatever, it's it's a lighter flavor. It's a lighter. It's very hard to pick up the uh, the nuances in his tobaccos. Um, here's one, of course, from my favorite guy uh, that makes uh, pipes and tobacco, Boswell, vanilla cream, very good. Can't go wrong with Boswell. Uh, Got this one, picked this one up in 2018, and uh, just been cellaring that one. But um, I'm gonna show you a couple. 
I'm going to show you a couple of them that um, that has the nuances. They got other things in them, other other uh, uh, nuances and mixes of what it tastes like uh, with the different blends that are in them. But one of them, of course, you all know by um, Cornell and Deal, uh, Autumn Evening. Autumn Evening has vanilla in it and gives you a vanilla overtone with some uh, room note in it as well. Uh, a lot of maple, more like a maple, and then you got vanilla and you got different different things in there. But a very good blend to try if you have it. And uh, in fact, we're in autumn. Autumn started what, Sunday? Fall started Sunday, past Sunday. Good blend, guys, Good, but can't go wrong with this one. Um, here's one I showed you uh, when I did the cherry blends. And uh, Boswell's Cherry Vanilla. Got vanilla in it. Cherry Vanilla. Uh, very good blend mixed with cherry and um, you really can't go wrong with those uh, any of those blends that I've just showed you um, here's one my last one That's in this pipe. Sutliff's Vanilla Royal. Sutliff's Vanilla Royal. Now the reason there's a sticker on that. <laughs> got this this month of 24. And I got two other ones. I got I got a frosty mint and a chocolate truffle. All Sutliff blends. I'm looking at the Frosty Mint for a Christmas tobacco this year. And kind of like a peppermint or a mint, minty blend. I like peppermint. And so I thought I would try it. But this one right here, I just haven't got on these three tobaccos I just mentioned. Chocolate Truffle, Frosty Mint, and this uh, uh, Vanilla Royal. I just haven't had a chance to put the labels on them yet. So I put stickers on them so I'll know which is which so I can make till I can make the labels. But all of these are my vanilla blends that I have. Now I've got a couple of others that have, just like I showed you, the Boswell cherry vanilla, different ones um, that have some vanilla overtones to them. But um, I was going to bring out another, you know, five, six, seven more just for that. You kind of get the idea. Um, of what's what, what's going on. Vanillas, you can't go wrong with them. Cherries can be a little tricky. Just like keeping this pipe lit with this fresh vanilla. Um, I'll finish this later. But um, Sorry for the background noise. I had to put my, my rabbit air on and it's on turbo mode. So I'm kind of competing with a little bit of the noise when it's that high revved up. But um, the vanilla blends, as I said, you can't beat them. The cherries can be sometimes come across a little medicine, have a, like a medicine cabinet, medicine type taste to it. Kind of like a Vicks cherry cough drop type thing. Um, so you got to kind of, you know, pick the ones that you, that you like. And like I said, everybody's palate is subjective. We all know that. What one loves, one hates. What one hates, the other one loves. I mean, you know, you just... Um, chocolate blends, you know, co chocolate coffee blend. You just got to kind of pick through those and, and try some. That's why you end up buying so many blends, guys. Uh, a lot of us, when we have the TAD disease, tobacco acquisition disorder, you know, I mean, um, you're trying different ones, trying to find those sweet tobac sweet spot tobaccos, whether it's English, whether it's aromatic, whether it's um, uh, vapors, whatever, you know, whatever. Um, until before long, you end up having 100 to 200 di different tobaccos in your cellar and got about 
$6,000 worth of tobacco you're looking at. But uh, you got to stop somewhere and pull the brakes. But um, but once you find yourself a couple of sweet spots in your, if, you, if you're aromatics, you know, if you're an aromatic lover, um, you know, you find the cherry, the chocolate, the coffee, the vanilla, get you a little bit of each one. If I maybe one or two, of, then, you know, that's about, that's about the gamut. I tell you, it's like cigars. You got all these guys out here. I mean, anybody and his brother can make a cigar. I mean, it seems like today. You can get a company, you can get a cigar with your name on it. Go over to Nicaragua or uh, Costa Rica or Dominion Republic, you know, wherever. Cuba, wherever, you know. And uh, get a cigar made. New World cigars come out of mostly Dominican and, and Nicaragua and you know, Costa Rica, different ones like that. Cubans are Cubans. But um, what I found out in my cigar journey, just about all of them are the same. You got the same nuances. You know, it's either chocolate, coffee, leather, earthy, you know, barnyard. Like I said, that ain't too good. Um, you know, yeah, it, might, it might be, you know, peppery, spicy. Those are kind of easy to pick up. But I don't care whether you're buying a $5 cigar or buying a $150 cigar or buying a $10,000 cigar. They're all the same. They're all, you know, save your money, man. And uh, don't don't drop the bank trying to keep up with cigars. Um, your better cigars. I mean, I've had five dollar, five fifty cigar Charter Oaks, the Charter Oak Foundation Charter Oaks, good cigar, about five to six bucks. You know, I usually go about twelve, maybe thirteen dollars. The highest I'll go. When you go to a Diamond Crown by uh, J C Newman. Um, your Ormick uh, by Foundation, some of you're going to drop about twelve, thirteen dollar range in there, and they're good cigars. But I'm going to be honest with you, I've had some that's in that price range that suck. That you know, you throw them in the trash. I got an eight dollar, seven dollar cigar that blows that slam out of the water. You know, and it's like everything else, it's name recognition. You know, whether you're buying Padron, whether you're buying. Arthur Fuente, whether you're buying Perdomo, whether you're buying Joe Blow down, you know, whatever. Cigars, it's, you know, it's like buying clothes, you know. Do you want, you know, El Monte suits? Do you want J.C. Penny? you know, when that was, they were selling suits. You know, Sears and Roebuck back in the day. Uh, you know, Botany 500 back in the day, you know. And uh, you heard me say several years ago, several, several years, probably 20, 25, 30 years ago, I had a, a minister and youth pastor at our church that sang in college choirs and ensembles and stuff, quartets, when he was going through Bible college. And they went to go get suits so they had all matched, the choir, the ensemble. When they got to the manufacturer plant that was going to make them all for them, they basically, had, they basically had five and six and seven and eight different labels. And they were asking the guys, what label do you want in your suit pocket? Botany 500, you know, whatever other names are out there. A little Italian name, you know, whatever to make it fancy. Same suit. You got 10 different tags you can pick from. You know, it's all a racket. And it's the same thing with tobaccos, guys. Uh, if some of you guys are newbies watching this channel... And um, I'm just going to tell you, I've been at it since 2017, and I know, I, you know, I'm fairly new to some of the old guys that's been at this for 40, 50 years. But uh, I've learned enough in the last seven years. Uh, we'll be coming up next month, seven years. Um, I started with Lane 1Q, you know, and I've got tobacco all over the house with in different cupboards and different things. And... Um, I'm just going to be brutally honest, you know, don't blow your money 
uh, trying to get 500 blends, you know. Start off with some vanilla, then maybe a cherry or a chocolate or whatever, if you're aromatic, like I said. And uh, find you one or two and just stay with it. Because I can tell you, all the others are about the same, give or take. Um, yeah, and I know some might disagree, that's fine. But for my palate, it's all, you know, and the thing is, Bass Piper don't smoke a lot. Um, I averaged out the other day in the two years, August, this past August was two years that I started my, my cigar journey. I started a month after my mom passed away in uh, uh, 2022. So August, uh, August. Um, so I've got 24, let's see. Yeah, 24 months, 25 months now, September, 25 months in. I got about 103 cigars that I've smoked in over two years. I did the average, I think it comes out to maybe a cigar a week, four cigars a month, or whatever. Yeah. That's not even moderation <laughs> with some people, you know, with some stats and statistics. My pipe smoking in the, in, in the seven years, seven years, when I picked up my first uh, corn cob, I, I ordered a Boswell factory. I ordered Boswell's little sample pack. Come with a, bo a box with a pipe, a tamper, an uh, ounce of tobacco, some matches, and some pipe cleaners. I don't know. I'm going to say that I'm between 80 to 100 bowls. No more than 100 bowls of pipe tobacco in seven years. Do the math. Um, so, even though you see me smoke on the video, that's usually my thing for about another month or whatever. Now, you haven't seen me have a, a, a pipe lately. Uh, maybe the last few videos I'm doing these tobacco reviews. I've been doing more cigars here and there. But I said all that to say this. My palate can pick up different nuances to a certain degree where I don't get used to, you know, smoking all the time and vanilla is vanilla is vanilla vanilla. I can pick up cherry, 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 cherry. If I smoked a lot of cherry, it all kind of runs together, you know. Um, it's kind of like, you know, when you walk into a situation in a company, you ever work for a company and you, and you can pick up things that are wrong, things that aren't going right, where the people that's been there for 10 to 15 years, they got their blinders on, they don't see nothing wrong. But as soon as you walk in, within a week or two, you go, man, this is all jacked up. Why are they doing it this way? The same way with tobaccos and everything, cigars. You get the, the, the tobaccos, and if you don't smoke a lot, then yeah, you can pick, okay, this is a little different. This tastes, this cherry blend tastes a little medicine-y. This cherry blend tastes a little funny. Because your palate hasn't been able to really adapt fully to cherry blends where they all taste the same, whether it's medicine or not. You know, it's like the cigarette smoker. You know, they like that. They, they like that burly. Man, when I smoke burly, if it's burly forward, that's me. In fact, if I had four hands, I have four thumbs down. I do not care for burly. A lot of cigarette smokers, ex-cigarette smokers, and I'm not saying you have to be a cigarette smoker or an ex-cigarette smoker, that you might love burly. They, you know, they love the burly because that's mainly what's in cigarettes and they've gotten used to it. So man, it's like, yeah, man, that's good stuff, man. That burly's good stuff. To me, I, can't, I cannot stand a tobacco that I gotta wear for two days on this right there you can gargle you can brush you can floss you can eat three meals you can, and it's still in the back of your tongue that burly 
I just, it's because it reminds me, it smells just like a cigarette or an ashtray. Can't deal with that. So, but that's me, you know. But, um, so I said all that to say that when you're not smoking as much, you, you can pick up things quick. Where when you've been doing something for so long, it's just like, you know. And, um, and so I use Burley, not the knock Burley. I, I smoke some tobaccos with Burley in it, but they're more back. They're more in the caboose. Um, Burley light without the bite, that type of thing. You know, they're, they're good. And they're so, I think autumn evening, different ones have a little Burley as long as it's in the caboose. But the more forward ones, it's just not for base piper. And I've mentioned this several times on different videos. But anyway, guys, it's 31 minutes. I'm going to get on off of here. Sorry for the noise in the back. Got the rabbit air going. And uh, the uh, weight loss is going good. Finally got the 30 pounds. <laughs> so uh, still working out, still doing intermittent fasting. In fact, I, it's 9.30, a little bit going on, 25 minutes to 10. I got another, I got to 11 o'clock to go for my intermittent fasting before I can have, before I can eat. I usually eat two meals a day for the most part. And uh, so my window is from 11 o'clock to seven o'clock at night. I'm doing, the, me and Miss Bass Piper's doing the 16-8. Now, we don't do it every day. You know, there's some times we got to go out with the church or we'll go out and eat or we'll go, you know, we kind of mess it up. But for the most part, we, we stay with the intermittent fasting throughout the week. Uh, carnivore is going pretty good. And are we doing more ketovore because of the fact of having to do some things and go out to eat? Kind of messes you up, like I said. But we're trying to stay more with carnivore. And uh, so it's, you know, and the gym's going good, but it's just coming off slow. Uh, you know, I got another, about another 60 pounds I want to get off. So, uh, uh, in fact, yeah, about 60 pounds will have me about 200, at, in, weighing in about 200. So, um, anyway, guys, uh, appreciate all my supporters, my new supporters. I've got new subscribers coming in. And um, like I said, we just wanted to show you some aromatic blends that I have uh, of mainly the main three that a lot of people like, vanilla, cherry, chocolate, or, and I even added coffee in there. But um, I've got some other blends that I might show a little later on, uh, just different blends um, uh, that, uh, you know, may have some overtones with different things, but kind of gives you, you know, different nuances. But um, anyway, I just want to go ahead and wrap it up with the vanilla blends uh, this morning. And uh, we'll look at something else maybe down the road to start a series. Start a series. And I got tickled the other night uh, when I saw it. Um, uh, Pipe Nook, the Pipe Nook was on, and um, he started a series about his jobs, all the jobs that he had. <laughs> now that one there would be pretty good for some of the pipers to put out. Uh, you know, I know not everybody has been blessed in their career of working maybe one or two jobs in 35 years, or you know, start at 18 and retire at 65 with one job. Um, me and him could probably be in a good competition between ministry, for me, ministry and secular work over uh, over the years. But uh, it would be interesting to hear uh, different ones' uh, jobs that you've done and um, over your career, you know. Hey, there's no shame in the game. If you've got 30 jobs or 50 jobs or one job, I mean, you know, Life happens, things happen, personality clashes, layoffs, even you may get fired, you know. Fired is not no big deal like it used to be and looked upon like it used to be. And there are some places that, you know, being fired is a blessing. <laughs> you know, that old saying, I came looking, I can go out looking. Um, you know, it might be just 
personality clashes with the boss, you know, or uh, you don't like what's going on to your standards and your convictions. And, you know, uh, so there's all kinds of things that, that happen. But uh, I thought that was pretty good that he started the uh, that series. I'm looking forward to, to seeing that and uh, how I probably could relate to some of the stuff he's gone through. But anyway, guys, we're going to get on off of here. Have a great weekend. Uh, those of y'all that are in the storm going through in Atlanta, Georgia, Florida, all those areas, hey, we've been praying for you. My church is praying for you. Uh, I hope everybody fares well, not too much damage. Uh, we're supposed to get some rain, uh, you know, and you can already see the Internet's acting up, as I told you earlier. So, um Pray that everybody gets through this thing okay and uh, weather another storm. And so uh, until we meet again, relax. Have your pipe. <laughs> Just don't try to do it when you're making a video. Um, or your stogies. And don't forget the many blessings that God gives us each and every day, guys. You all take care. Have a great weekend. Love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.